currently we are uh, creating this game right so um to see how this game works and how are we exactly creating this game you will have to watch this video completely then you will be understanding that right and yeah if you are new here please do subscribe to my channel okay so also do watch all the series we have uh, so many playlists in our uh, channel right so do go back to the channel playlists and then just check out which playlist should work out for you and start off watching all of the videos in a sequence so that you have better understanding right and um, so you will just understand them well i think uh, i have to say this right like the co conceptually it will be very easy for you to get through it okay all right so starting off with this shooting game now so we definitely have to set a background for our uh, game yeah so let's check yeah let's set this i just want to choose a space backdrop today let's check it out yeah this is good right let's get some space related characters now so set actor one to uh maybe a space bot let's check it yeah this this looks good right um i'll let this be now okay so then we can also set the character size right so let's set actor size to maybe 0 0.1 half of its size now okay because we need a small character and that's enough and i also want to move my character over here in the bottom so to move my character i can use move actor 1 to 200 in the middle yeah and 380 down okay let's check it out yeah he's standing here i think this is good it looks perfect for me then uh, we also have to set the second character because we have to shoot the character which is moving on top of your screen okay so let's set another character I'm just setting this actor number as two. Let's see if you have any other space related character. Yeah, I think I found an alien. Um, okay. So we also definitely have to set the alien size, right? So let's set it at 0 0.6 because, uh, I mean, we can just set it like this more than the size of the bot okay why because i want the villain to be a huge yeah he's bigger than the bot he looks powerful than the bot now right so just like that i just want to set it like that and then um, we can also show the score if you want to right so just uh, get this here let's write score wait score and text i'm just removing this let's create a variable for score so that we can use that so i'm just renaming this variable as score create let's set the value to zero then let's go to variables to get score let's see see score zero okay it's just showing like that then then what next we have to do is we should be able to move the bot left and right okay so let's get when up arrow move block yeah move actor so it's left and right so when left arrow move actor one left 25 pixels I think I'll just duplicate the same block. So when right arrow, move actor one right by 25 pixels. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's moving left and it's moving right. Okay, cool. Now, what next we have to do after moving them left and right is so it is moving left and right it also has to um like shoot something right when can it shoot 
you can use the space key or let's go to events let's take this okay we only have these no so when up arrow is pressed let's just uh, start shooting something right towards up so we have a block called as actor one throw okay actor one throw let's throw a red fireball maybe right upwards okay let's check it i'm clicking on up arrow yeah it is throwing a red red fireball upwards okay nice this is working so not only your bot should be throwing something but also your alien should be throwing something right so to do such a kind of a thing it has to throw something automatically on its own so that's why i'm just using a repeat forever block like the name itself uh, itself suggests right repeat forever is something which repeats something forever okay so what exactly i want to repeat is um, making it throw some fireball downwards okay so let's go to actions let's get this actor actor 2 throw maybe maybe purple fireball down let's check yeah he's continuously throwing the purple fireball down okay it looks huge right but that's okay um let's set it size to 0.5 only let's check even then he looks bigger than this so it's okay i i think i like this size then we can also uh, we can't really make it um, do it forever immediately right we can give some delay in the code to delay the code we have this wait for 1 seconds block so after every 6 seconds shall we uh, do this i think 6 seconds will be a nominal gap right see first it is coming now then after 6 seconds you will get the other one yeah okay i think this works fine for me right now but uh, the alien can't really stand there and uh, start shooting something right it has to be moving randomly okay and that should be continuous again so let's take the repeat forever block again okay and let's go to actions and get move move actor 1 and not actor 1 right so it's actor 2 so move actor 2 left okay let's go to mass just give me yeah so yeah we need a random integer block so i'm just getting that go to mass random integer so let's see how this works so random integer actually uh, selects a random number from the given range okay so uh, we already know that the x values are 400 or in total right so if i want it to be moving towards left and right equally right so i can actually give minus 200 to 200 right so it moves towards uh, left and it also moves towards right so when it is uh, getting a positive value it will move towards right when it is getting a negative value it will move towards left okay so that's i'm just using move actor to left a uh, random integer okay and definitely it should um, it should not really repeat it forever like this right there can be a small delay right so i'm just delaying it by uh, 0.5 seconds only so it can't really delay for 6 uh, seconds right that's why i'm using different repeat forever blocks okay so you might uh, you might think that uh, we already have actor 2 and repeat forever there right then why are we not using both of these blocks inside this is because this is having a different delay and this is having a different delay that's why i'm using different repeat events okay so now this is about the movement of the things so you can see it is actually moving towards left and right randomly on its own now okay so yeah you can see this right the change in the movement and all okay so this is fine now not only this is enough we also have to have some conditions in the game right so whenever 
the actor two is touching the red fireball something should happen right whenever actor one is touching the purple fireball i think yes then something should happen right so we have to create those events also okay so let's do it for uh, actor one touches the uh, thing or whenever actor two is touching red fireball right let's do it okay first so red fireball yeah what should happen first thing is we have to increase the score right because we can increase the score um, whenever alien is touching the red fireball we uh, are i mean our space bot can get our get a point right so that's why i'm just increasing the score by score plus 1 score plus 1 okay then we also need to have a logic block if conditional statement i mean right so what is the condition we are checking is if score is equals to something right if let's suppose if score is equal to 10 or 15 or 50 maybe right so then we have to end the game because we can't uh, really make it go continuously forever right and that will be so boring for us also yeah so that's why what am i doing is if let's suppose go to variables and get score if score is equal to uh for now i'm just writing 5 but it it need not be only 5 you can say 10 20 30 also no issues okay if score is equal to 5 then i will end the game as win okay in games or score we have a block called as end game as win then after ending the game as win the characters should not be visible right so what i'll do i'll just vanish the characters okay we have vanish actor 1 we can just duplicate the same block and write vanish actor 2 also okay and this is not enough we are using repeat forever uh, for this uh, movement and all right so that's why what exactly i will do i will just stop every dragon which are uh, i mean every alien which ever is created right so stop every alien where's the alien yeah okay so this is when actor 2 touches red fireball let's duplicate the same block now let's do it for when actor 1 touches purple fireball right purple fireball okay so first thing um, like how many times we are touching the purple fireball we should have a count for it right so to count upon that let's create another variable okay what i'm doing yeah i'll just say rename this variable as count let's set it to so i'm just setting the count variable to 3 because i'm just giving three lives to my space bot okay if it is touching the purple fireball three times that means we can end the game as a loss right so that's the reason i'm starting off with starting it off with three so let's get set count to i'm just duplicating this block okay so instead of score we can choose count so count will become minus 1 right whenever it touches first count we have to decrease the count then we can actually use the conditional statement so i'm just using reusing this conditional statement if count becomes 0 right if count is equal to 0 end the game as loss basically vanish actor 1 2 and stop every alien okay i think this should work out now we have mostly created all the things oh my god i was about to drop it off right okay i think let's check it out once it's too huge oh we got 5 points already so you win and you can see nothing is working now after the win because everything got vanished okay because i set it for 5 it's so early right 
if you just do it for 10 then you can still play it for more some more time we just have to keep on escaping the purple fireballs and we have to make sure we're not touching them right only then you can survive in this game this is this oh i touched it oh my god wow however we won i mean i really got 10 points so that's why i won this game okay so this is how it is let's check if we have um any say kind of a block right we do not really have any say kind of a block right if you have say block we can make actors say something right Ah, oh, we have this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do something like this. When actor one touches, I mean actor two touches. So what I'm what I'm trying to do exactly is whenever actor two is touching the red fireball, right? So then we will make actor one say the score because it is his score only. So he can say it out. I got these many points, right? For one second, he will say. And let's suppose if whenever actor one touches a purple fireball, then alien can say his score, right? I mean, say the count variable basically. For one second so that we actually can track at uh, i mean at which position we are right basically uh are we at uh, score 11 uh, or are we at score 1 2 3 so on we'll get to know okay let's check it out so you can see it is saying one two it is claiming the points now see it is also saying two times it touched now the count is one, I mean less than one, count is two basically now. We still have two more chances. If it says two, that means we still have two more chances. And we are going to win. We are just going to win. Ten. You win. Perfect. Okay. I think this is something cool, right? <laughs> Saying their own scores. I love it. Okay, cool. So this is all about the game, yeah. When you click on reset, then this is something which is like a very small, simple game we did. Instead of 10, you can do whatever you want to. And instead of three lives, you can give any number of lives you want uh, your space bot to get, right? Okay. So this is all about the game. I hope you enjoyed this game and you like this game too, right? Hope to meet you soon in the next session. Till then. You just have to watch all the videos in sequence. And if you have any uh, doubts or questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Do let me know and do submit your projects in the comment section below. Okay. So uh, you can also show me um, like what creativity you have added into this and uh, you made this better than this, right? So you can show them to me, right? All right. So this was all about our today's session. Let's meet in the next session, everyone. Okay. Till then, uh, happy coding, enjoy learning coding, right? Do coding, do more practice. Practice makes man perfect, okay? Yes, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, folks. Huh? Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. All.